Welcome back to my basement. Welcome back to the Desert Bath Co. channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and I am the owner and creator and everything behind Desert Bath Company. I like to show you the behind the scenes of my bath bomb making business as well as share some small business tips and tricks with you along the way. We just had a super, super busy weekend at one of our biggest markets of the year, the Spring Fling Made with Love Market. I have finally got everything unpacked and reorganized down here in my basement so I can get back to work. But there is something that comes up at almost every single one of my markets and I thought to myself, hmm, this would be a pretty good topic to talk a little about and share with you guys. And that topic is bath bomb packaging. So when you're launching your bath bomb business, one of the things that you've probably been a little stumped on is how the heck do I package these bath bombs? I'm sure you've got round bath bombs, some odd shaped bath bombs, packs of bath bombs, but how do you go about packaging these so it works well for shipping, retail shops, markets, and obviously making sure that your bath bombs last as long as they should. So I'm gonna share with you some of my packaging ideas, some of the ideas that I currently still use, some that I used in the past that maybe didn't work so well as I started to expand. I'll go over kind of the pros and cons of each, what my experience has been with each of these packaging types and what has been best for my business. Keep in mind that not everything that's best for my business would be best for yours and vice versa. But if you've got some ideas that I don't talk about here today, please leave them in the comments down below. I love hearing your guys' thoughts and your comments and all your ideas. So feel free to share and let's get to some packaging. Let's start with the cheapest and most obvious way to package a bath bomb, naked. Although it is the cheapest, fastest, and most sustainable type of packaging you could use for your bath bombs. In my experience with purchasing naked bath bombs, if I don't use them in the first couple of weeks, I've noticed that when I go to use them in the tub, they're very, very dry, they're chalky, and they sink like a rock. So just to go over the good and not so good of the naked packaging, for the good, it is simple eye-catching, inexpensive, quick, and eco-friendly. For the not so good, it dries out easily, very unsanitary, easily broken, dust and crumbles, looks unfinished, absorbs moisture, and hard to label. Now let's move on to the next one, shrink wrapped only. So the shrink wrap only packaging is simple, inexpensive, it helps with all the naked packaging issues. So let's go over the good and not so good for the shrink wrap packaging. For the good, it is simple, eye-catching, inexpensive, sanitary, helps preserve oils, helps keep structure, great for retail, and there are eco-friendly options for shrink wrap packaging. For the not so good, takes more time, not as professional looking, and it's harder to label round bath bombs. So next up, we have the cellophane bag with tie. As you can see, these are really easy to label with a simple little hang tag label. I use these mainly for my mini bath bombs. When I have a little bit of extra powder in a batch, I'll make little mini bombs and I'll tie them up here with a cellophane bag and little tie to give out as customer gifts. Now let's go over the good and not so good for the cellophane bag. The good. It's simple, it's very easy to add a tag label, inexpensive, sanitary, helps preserve oils, helps keep the structure, and it's great for retail. The not so good, takes more time, not as professional looking, and it's hard to use with uniquely shaped bath bombs. Our fourth packaging idea is the jewelry or organza bag, muslin bag, any kind of material you can use 
I specifically chose to talk a little bit more about the organza bag because they are a little semi-transparent. They are simple and inexpensive. It is easy to add a tag or label. However, if it is not shrink wrapped inside of the bag, it will not help preserve the oils. It is more sanitary than naked packaging, but not as sanitary as shrink wrapped. So let's go over the good and not so good for the jewelry, organza, and muslin bags. The good, simple, easy to add a tag label, comes in different colors, and it's great for gift giving. The not so good, it takes more time. It's a little more expensive, dries out easily, not the best for retail, and not as sanitary, unless you're planning on shrink wrapping the bath bomb inside of that bag. My next packaging idea, which I actually used for the first two full years of my business, and I loved it, it is the one thing that my customers talked about most because it was so unique, and when they received their packages in the mail, it just felt like they got so much more than just a bath bomb, and that is a craft bag. Let's go over the good and the not so good with the craft bags. The good, it's very unique. It's easy to add a label, helps preserve oils, it's sanitary, great for gifts, helps prevent breaking, especially if you're shipping orders and it looks like you get more. The not so good, it takes more time. You have to package them and add a label to the craft bag. It is more expensive and probably the most expensive packaging option we've talked about thus far. It takes up more space. I used to put these on tables and try to use little hang tags to hang them at my markets. However, packaging bath bombs and craft bags obviously takes up more space. So when it came to markets, displaying them wasn't quite as eye catching. But when you're in a retail shop, you have to assume that customer walking the door has no idea what your business is or what your business does. So you really want customers to know exactly what they're looking at. Otherwise people might just pass it by. So this one I used to use for my round bath bombs, all my round bath bombs. And people loved it because it looked like a little gift. And once again, very similar to the craft bags, people felt like they were getting more. However, when it came to packaging for retail shops and just mass producing round bath bombs, this became quite the headache. And that packaging solution is a clear box with a little tie. It's great for shipping, great for gifts. It is one of the most upscale looks I think a bath bomb can have. So let's go over the good and not so good for the clear box. The good, it creates an immaculate upscale look in my opinion. It is easy to add a label. It helps preserve the oils. It's sanitary. It's great for gifts. Helps prevent bath bombs from breaking. And just like the craft bags, it looks like you get more. The not so good. Takes more time. You have to assemble these boxes. You have to stuff them with little craft crinkle paper. If you're doing that, it add a little bow. Obviously more expensive, more materials, it's gonna cost more. It is not eco-friendly, obviously. It takes up more space and it's hard to use with unique shaped bath bombs. So back when I launched my business, I ordered two different sizes of gift boxes. One that I could fit four bath bombs in nicely as a set of four and a larger one that I could do more of a bath and body set. So when I first launched my business, I was 100% online. So when I went to create these gift boxes, I didn't really think so much about being able to see the items inside of them because I didn't think retail was a thing that I was ever even going to be capable of. I thought I was just going to be stuck to selling off my website and Etsy. But more recently, I've been using these clear bags because they just do so much better at our retail shops and people can see exactly what's inside of them. I don't have to worry about people opening up boxes and not closing them up correctly. Uh, so I still use these boxes for friends and family and if I'm shipping some custom gift box orders, but I will use the clear bags for my retail shops. 
So let's go over the good and not so good for the gift boxes. The good has an upscale look. It's easy to add a label. It's sanitary, great for gift bundles, and obviously great for multi-packs. The not so good. It's expensive. At least you don't have to package each item in a box like this, but some of these boxes can be a couple dollars a piece and with minimum order quantities, that can get expensive quick. It requires a filler. I use crinkle paper. You can use whatever you'd like, but that still is an added cost and it takes up more space. Thank you so much for joining me today as I rambled off all my packaging ideas. I hope some of these work for you. Please leave a comment down below if you have any additional packaging ideas. I would love to hear about them. I hope you all have a beautiful, bubbly day, and I'll see you next time in my basement. Bye!